Countdown clock on the eastern shore <laughs> is ticking down to liftoff. That's right. A rocket is set to launch tonight from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson is live right now at Wallops Island. Yeah, Jeff and his hat are back now to tell <laughs> us about the uh, launch in just a few hours. Yeah, just a few hours away, and this launch, while well, we're all going to be excited to see the Antares rocket lift off from Pad 0A coming up at 8.31 tonight, the capsule is the important part of what is going up on this rocket. The capsule is the thing that holds all of the supplies and all of the science on board, and each capsule is named after an uh, astronaut. This capsule is named after NASA astronaut Dr. Laurel Clark during her first and only space flight aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia. Dr. Clark and the rest of the crew sadly did lose their lives upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. And if you remember back then, about 20 years ago, that was when that foam tile caused that damage there. So very sad, but it's great to see that they can bring her back to that. But speaking of the rocket, the rocket is very tall. Ricky Matthews is joining me now. It's a very tall rocket. We're going to use this flagpole behind us to describe it. Yeah, so we got out here. I saw the flagpole. I was like, hmm, how tall is that? So I did a little Google search, and this is not 100% scientific method because I didn't <laughs> climb up that flagpole to see how tall it is. But typically, Google tells me they're around 20 to 25 feet. The rocket, 139 feet, Jeff. So that's about five and a half of these flagpoles stacked on top of each other. So that kind of gives you a little perspective of how tall this rocket is and the capsule sitting on top there carrying all the important cargo to the ISS. 831 the launch tonight. The weather looks great. Should not have any issues. 80% go. We're looking around here and we're looking for any cumulus clouds. Don't see any uh, right now over the launch pad and that's great because that's the biggest concern. One of those clouds drifting over the pad and not allowing them to launch. If you live in eastern Virginia, you live in Hampton Roads, you live in uh, eastern North Carolina, you should have a nice view of this launch tonight. Anywhere between around 10 seconds all the way up to around 30 seconds if you're on the eastern shore into the Hampton Roads area and then a little bit longer if you're inland a little bit uh, before you see the little orange streak going up the sky. And this is your first time seeing an Ontario's rocket up close yep. tonight. You've seen them from afar. I have seen them from afar but this should be exciting because you can hear it so we're excited to see that later. Yes so this will be again coming up in a couple of hours from now it's about 436 right now or so so we're about four hours away back to you. Looking forward, you're looking forward to your coverage. All right thanks guys.